So let's talk about what are the six secrets. And this is not one of my children. I thought maybe it was you as a child. <laughs> yeah, me as a child. <laughs> Love your glasses. Yeah, great glasses, huh? Okay. Secret number one, don't use the built-in footers. And you do have fill-in-the-blanks here. Now, what I mean by that, let me pop back over to Word a second. When people start using Word 2010, they go over here and they say, oh, I want to put in a footnote or a, I want to put in a page number. And they come here and they click on page number and they go, well, bottom of page, that's what I want. I want plain number two, right? Here's the problem with that. If I go down here and let's say I've got something in the footer. So I've got, you know, a doc ID in there, right? If I then insert a page number, what happened to my doc ID? It's gone, okay? In previous versions, that didn't happen. In this version, what I just showed you is what's called a building block. So what the building block does is it replaces the entire contents of your footer, okay? So you do not want to do that. I'll show you what you do want to do a little bit later. All right, next thing, next secret here. Use the keyboard shortcut, Alt-Shift-P, to insert your page number. There are a couple of other ways. As you know, there's always four ways to do everything. But if you use the keyboard shortcut, it's just a whole lot quicker. Just save you a little bit of time. So how does that work? If I go back over to my document, if I get rid of the page number that's there, Alt-Shift-P puts the page number right where I want it. For simple page numbering, use different first page. And what I mean by simple page numbering is you just have a document and you just don't want a page number on the first page, you want the rest of the pages numbered, right? Yeah. A lot of simple documents by that. That is, it couldn't be a whole lot simpler. There's a checkbox up here. It says different first page. That's all you have to do. So if I want different first page, just, just click that checkbox, and then I can move between next, see, get, and previous will move me between the first page and the next page if I have an extra page It's there. already clicked and then you hit next if you don't want the first page number. Right. Like so the title page. Yeah, so if this, was a t if this were a title page, let me go out here and just put in an extra page. Okay, so if I'm here, right click, edit footer. Yeah. So now, I see this just says footer. Mm -hmm. If I go to previous, now that says first page footer. So if I didn't want a page number there, I could delete that, then go to next, and then I could put in my page number there. Secret number four. For complex page numbering, zap the sap. And we will get into what that means in a little bit, but just note that, put that in your notes. The idea is that every Every footer needs to be independent. So you have a brief, and the brief has a title page with no page number. Then it's an appellate brief, so you have both table of contents and table of authorities. Those have Romanets. Then you have another section that has Arabic numerals, the body of your brief. Then at the end, you've got an appendix, and you want that to be like A-1, A-2. That's what I'm talking about as far as a complex doc, okay? And we're going to see how that works here in just a minute. All right. So step number five, move down the dock and up the dock. And we're going to see this when I do my demo here in a minute. But we're going to start at the top of the document and go all the way to the bottom. Then we're going to go from the bottom back up to the top. And then from the top to the bottom. So we're going to move up and down through the document. And my favorite one of the tips, use previous and next to move between the sections. For me, it's like nails on a chalkboard. 
when I see people, they have a 110 page brief and to get from section three to section four, they're going, they're using the scroll button on their mouse. Scroll, 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 scroll. <laughs> so, and, and all you have to do is click next to go between three and four.